All right, good evening everybody. So it is Barbados cherry season now. So here we are, we're a couple days after Memorial Day and these things are starting to ripen up quickly. And it's funny how quickly they actually do ripen because they go from a green fruit to the actual cherry in not that long of a time span. So you really gotta keep your eye on these uh, to make sure that they're miss not missing the fruit out here. And these things are just extremely productive. So let me see if I can show you some of the fruit on here. A lot of these are still green. Some of these are starting to, to ripen up to a nice color. But I'll tell you guys, it's all about, all about maturity on this plant. Look at that one, that's a nice one. It's all about maturity on this plant. So let me show you. Oh man, that's good. This is an older plant, so this is going on about four years. And they don't start to produce really, really heavily until they are about three years. So you gotta be patient. You gotta bide your time on this one. This one is definitely, definitely worth the wait because these cherries are about as close as you're gonna get to actual cherries. And once they get a little bit bigger like this, then they're gonna really start packing on the fruit. So you don't have to worry so much about getting these cherries. Let's see if I can get around here. So yeah, they're just kind of all over this plant. But it's also a larger plant. And look at those. Just beautiful fruit. And this one also started to produce a lot heavier since I put another Barbados cherry next to it. So I've got another Barbados cherry that is right here in a pot. And as you can see, this one's got, this one's got a lot of fruit on it too. A lot of cherries. So this is definitely one that you want to grow in the valley. This plant loves the heat. It comes alive at about 95 degrees. Um, it doesn't like the cold too much. It's going to go semi-dormant in the wintertime. It's going to lose about half of its leaves. And right about now, it's going to start to leaf out again. So it's going to start getting all of its new leaves again. It also blooms, blooms really heavy. And it's also going to start to set fruit as they get older. So you just have to wait a little bit on this one. This one is going to take about three years to produce really, really well. And then after that time period, um, you should get a lot of cherries at that point and it also helps to plant two so if you plant two of these right next to each other you're going to get far far more cherries you're going to get probably double cherries off of each tree than you would normally so this is definitely one that's worth planting because this is about as close as we're going to get uh, to cherries here in the valley and man these things are good this is a florida florida sweet which is actually a, a semi-sweet semi-sweet cherry there are some sweeter cultivars of this and there are some more sour cultivars of this but this happens to be a florida sweet it is about six foot tall i've kept it um, trimmed down so it gets nice and thick um, you want these a little bit more like a shrub instead of an actual tree these won't be an actual tree for you um, these will be just a big shrub they look very much like a pomegranate and they behave very much like a pomegranate you can plant them in the full sun and they just love the heat and you'll get crops usually twice a year you're going to get this first one which i guess i consider a spring crop even though it's kind of late for spring and then you're going to get one in the fall once it cools down a little bit these tend to not set too many fruit over the summertime they're kind of like a tomato where they'll bloom but they dry up and blow off and you probably won't get that many that many fruit off of them so all right guys barbados cherries this is one this is a tropical that i definitely think is worth investing in here in the valley um, and if you want fruit sooner you might have to buy a bigger bigger older one all right guys thank you for watching